Welcome to Second Recapped. The movie begins in Romania, the daughter of a well-known businessman, Ivan, is getting married. The girl is very nervous, and gives a toast, where she thanks her father for everything he has done, after which she proposes to the guests to dance. People sing and have fun, while the bride and groom's family remain at the table, waiting for drinks. The father of the bride is surrounded by bodyguards, watching the area. A waiter arrives at the table. Ivan's men check that he is not armed, and let him go. The man pours the family a drink, but accidentally spills the glass on Ivan's legs. He gets angry and scolds him, the waiter apologizes and tries to wipe it off with a tablecloth, and then leaves. A few moments later, the bodyguards realize their leader has just been killed. The waiter had a blade hidden under his plate. The guards chase the waiter, as the family cries and scream in terror. He escapes into the kitchen. When he is about to be caught up with a guard, he kills the guard by throwing a cleaver, and then runs from the building. This is Brazil, a professional hitman who completes all his assignments impassively. The man lives in a small apartment, in a very poor apartment building. Arriving home, he heads to the back of the kitchen, where there is a sink. Through a series of combinations, the man opens a secret passageway, leading him into a huge elegant apartment. He even has a room set aside for his own weapons. He lives alone, and the only being who keeps him company is a small turtle. This one however, always tries to avoid Brazil's finger whenever he wants to pet it. Meanwhile, the word is spreading that the head of Interpol, Herod is being investigated for corruption. He meets with two of his corrupt cops, Shell and Godfrey, and together they seek a solution to erase the evidence of their corruption. Godfrey claims that the only man who can get them into trouble is Flint. He was one of the best hitmen before he got out of the business. Herod orders them to find Flint, and kill him. The cops plan to lure Flint by releasing a certain polo, and putting a price on his head. The scene shifts to Ukraine, to a huge mansion in the mountains. Here, Flint has decided to care for his wife, for the rest of their lives, and has vowed to protect her at all costs. When Flint was still a hitman, a criminal named Polo assaulted and beat his wife into a coma. All before the eyes of Flint, who was tied up, and could do nothing. While chopping wood, the nurse caring for his wife, Mrs. Pavlescu tells Flint that a stranger has recently arrived in town, Cully. Flint becomes suspicious, and tracks him down. He hides in his car, and when the man arrives, threatens to kill him if he does not tell him how he found him. The two already know each other, Cully worked with Flint before he retired. The man is now back to give him a new assignment, worth a million dollars. Flint refuses, because he no longer cares about money, he does not want to endanger his wife's life again. Cully tells him that he must kill Polo, and Flint leaves. After each assassination is completed, Brazil meets with Nalbandian, the man who assigns him new missions. Nalbandian delivers, as always, Brazil's pay in diamonds when the job is done, and tells him the next person to kill Polo, he is to be released from prison today. Brazil accepts and leaves. Polo leaves prison, and heads for his brother, who has been taken to court. Brazil returns home, and gets acquainted with the new couple in the apartment building. In the hallway, the man, Telly is arguing and verbally abusing his girlfriend, October. Brazil ignores them, enters the house, places his bag of diamonds among everyone else, and starts playing the violin, I in Ukraine. Flint cannot forgive himself for leaving his wife in the hands of the ruthless Polo. So he calls his old friend, and accepts the assignment. He tells him that the bounty is no longer available, but Flint does not care, he wants to kill Polo with his own hands. So he decides to leave his wife with Mrs. Pavlescu for the time being, and sets off in search of Polo. Meanwhile, the two policemen plan to wait for Flint in front of the court, from which Polo and his brother will emerge. In this way, Polo will act as a decoy for Flint, and the two policemen will be able to catch the hitman, and hand him over to Herod. Flint is in the building in front of the courthouse, waiting for Polo to come out and shoot him with his sniper. Polo, his brother, and their men come out, and Flint pulls the trigger. But when he fires, to the criminal's left comes Brazil in a van, aiming his crossbow at Polo's head. Brazil is surprised by Flint's shot, which pierces the van, and accidentally shoots Polo's brother Danzo in the chest. Flint tries to shoot Polo again, but he is covered by policemen, so he grabs a gun and tries to reach him. When Flint arrives in front of Polo, he is about to kill him, but Godfrey, who is in the car, shoots him in the shoulder. The local police shoot the car and Flint, but both manage to escape. Arriving home, Brazil plays the violin again, but is interrupted by the neighbor's screams. He goes out to check outside the door, and notices that Telly is violently beating his girlfriend with his belt. Brazil tells the neighbor to stop because he is bothering him. The man ignores him and continues. Brazil then beats Telly and mercilessly houses the girl in his apartment, and tells her that tonight she can sleep at his place. Brazil orders the girl not to touch anything, and goes to look for Polo. Flint first reaches the place where he thinks Polo is. But instead of the criminal, Brazil appears from above, jumps on Flint, and beats him. Brazil says he does not want anyone to meddle with his assignment. Flint tells the man that it is only personal, and that he does not want to. Once he is killed, he can keep the money. Flint knows more about Polo's moves and his hiding places, and convinces Brazil to cooperate with him. The two go to see the guy who makes the equipment for Polo. Flint threatens the man with his own weapon to find out where to find Polo. 
the frightened man says that in the next few days, his boss will be at a hotel called the Royal Grand. Flint decides not to shoot him, but Brazil comes up behind the man, and kills him. The two goons start fighting, because Flint wants him alive, to use him as bait. They then steal the weapons, including a half-million-dollar machine gun that shoots itself, and leave. While Polo is looking at pictures of him and his brother together, one of his men enters the room. He informs the chief that he has found a picture of Danzo's killer. Polo prepares to look for him. Brazil returns home, but sees the door to the secret passage open. In the bed of his large apartment, he sees October sleeping. He wakes her up and treats the wounds on her back. October caresses the turtle, and it comes out of its shell, and raises its head. Brazil has never been able to do this and is touched. Night has fallen, and the Interpol chief is going to sleep. Flint breaks into his house, and points a gun at him. The hitman suggests that Herod tell his policeman to stop chasing him, if he does not want to die. The next day, the chief orders Shell and Godfrey to kill Flint within 48 hours. Meanwhile, Polo and his henchmen meet with Nalbandian, to ask him for the name of the hitman who killed Danzo. Behind Nalbandian, appears a team of policemen, including Shell and Godfrey, who ask Polo to work together to find Flint. If he does, Polo will receive immunity for life, in both the US and Europe. Polo agrees only with one condition, to turn Brazil over to them, and Nalbandian agrees. At home, the girl argues with Brazil, because she is a prostitute by necessity, not by choice, while he is a hitman, because he seems to like killing people. The girl says Brazil has no heart, and then he leaves. He meets the new neighbor in the apartment building, who says he wants October back. Brazil says she doesn't want to see him again, and leaves, but Telly is irritated, and seems to be plotting something to get revenge. Polo kidnaps Cully in order to track down Flint. Cully, even though he is bound and wounded, does not want to respond, and taunts him. Polo then cuts off his right ear, and Cully screams in desperation, ending up giving all the information to Polo. In town, Brazil meets with Nalbandian in a van, and the collaborator tells him that he will get paid more if he delivers Flint tomorrow morning to City Hall. Nalbandian tells Brazil the tragic story of Flint and his wife, and how after that incident, he disappeared with dirty money from Interpol. Brazil is not swayed by the sob story, and accepts the assignment. Flint and Brazil meet at a restaurant to determine the next plan. Brazil convinces Flint to go to City Hall. Night falls, and Brazil and the girl discuss their future plans on the couch. October says she just wants to get away from the city, and be safe with someone who will love her, and light a candle for her when she dies. She asks Brazil if he prays, he says he tried but never got an answer, so he gave up. The girl gently rests her head on Brazil's shoulders, and he realizes he has grown fond of the woman, while Polo is trying to have a good time with prostitutes, he is interrupted by one of his men. Polo gets to know the owner of a local prostitute business, who says he knows the whereabouts of Danzo's murderer. The man is indeed Brazil's neighbor Telly. Morning comes, and Brazil gets dressed to go to City Hall. Before leaving the house, October kisses him on the cheek, and he very awkwardly reciprocates. Arriving at City Hall, Flint sees Polo in the distance, and tries to shoot him. But at the same moment, he is surprised from behind by Shell and Godfrey, who knock him out with a taser. Flint is caught, and realizes he has been betrayed by Brazil. Then Brazil goes to Nalbandian, takes his money without checking it, and says he wants to take some time off. Soon after, however, he receives a call, it is Polo, and he has broken into his house. He threatens Brazil to kill the girl, if he does not turn himself in. Brazil refuses, shuts down the call, and tells Nalbandian he no longer wants to work with him. The hitman returns to his house, and finds everything destroyed, with the girl dead. Brazil is deeply distressed by this, and returns to Nalbandian. He returns the diamonds to him, and asks where he can find Flint. Nalbandian gives his friend's location, in exchange for restoring their cooperation. Meanwhile, the two policemen torture Flint in an abandoned factory, to find out where the Interpol money he has hidden is. Flint does not respond, and Godfrey orders his man, Gabor to kill him. But when the policeman turns around, Gabor falls to the ground dead, Brazil has stabbed him in the back. The hitman kills everyone with a machine gun, saving Flint, and apologizes to his friend for betraying him. Together they then head to Flint's house, before Polo reaches his wife. The Interpol chief hands over judicial immunity to Polo, and the two look for a way to stop Flint once and for all. It is nighttime, and in the car, Flint calls Mrs. Pavlescu, to tell her to get his wife out of the house and escape. The call however is tampered with, and the woman does not understand the message. Polo has already arrived at Flint's house, and kills the lady. Daylight breaks, and the two hitmen finally arrive at their destination. Flint's house, however, is surrounded by Polo's men. Polo calls Flint, and shows him on camera how he is stroking his wife's neck with a knife, to provoke him. He gives him 15 minutes to put down his weapons, otherwise, he and his men will assault the woman again, and then kill her. Flint and Brazil come out of the forest, without weapons, but with a plan. The two meet Polo and Brazil, offers him $12 million in diamonds to let him go. Flint pretends to be angry, because he seems to want to betray him again, and throws a punch at him. 
Brazil dodges it, Flint grabs the phone above the table, and activates the automatic weapon they had stolen and hidden behind the house earlier. Everyone but Polo dies. Flint tries to stab him, but Polo is stronger and is about to slit Flint's throat. Brazil however, throws the criminal to the ground. He wants to shoot him, but Flint says he wants to kill him with his own hands. Flint brings Polo to his knees, in front of his wife's bed. He threatens to slit his throat, and Polo begs Flint's wife to forgive him for what he did to her. Polo cries out in desperation, but Flint says she cannot hear him, and stabs him. Polo falls to the ground, and Flint cries in front of his wife, and caresses her. He has finally succeeded in getting revenge, but the two hitmen's mission does not end there. Brazil tracks down his neighbor, and with a sword, cuts his throat, to avenge the only girl who made him feel alive. Flint instead kills Herod, and then Flint and Brazil's lives are separated. Flint now wants to do a new, albeit more expensive procedure to cure his wife. While Brazil, thinking back to October, returns to the church after a long time, and lights a candle for her, the movie ends with the tears of Brazil, the man who previously had no feelings. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.